All right. Hello, and thank you for joining me for this follow-up video on my desk build. If you do any level of hobbyist woodworking, you're probably aware what a rarity it is to bring something back in the shop to fix it up after it's been living in your house for a few months, but that is what I did here today. Most of the time, I'm okay with the mistakes in my projects. I am not a perfectionist, but sometimes the issues are too dire to let persist, and I think this one was affecting the health of my PC. So the custom desk I built has this glass cabinet that houses the PC, but it doesn't really have any airflow in it, and so the cabinet would get really hot after the PC ran for a little while. And the number one comment I got was people telling me that my PC was gonna suffer if I kept overheating it so much. And so my goal was to install some external fans for ventilation and cooling of my PC. And now a quick word from today's sponsor. This video was kindly sponsored by Big Denny's Ranches and Mustards. Big Denny's line of ranches and mustards offers diverse flavors and healing properties for your next backyard cookout. Ingredients include, but are not limited to, Worcestershire sauce, birdseed, stank root, tree bark, oyster sauce, raw milk, rose quartz shards, and Red Dye 5. Big Denny's line of ranches and mustards are not officially FDA approved and therefore legally banned from being advertised as food and are not suitable for human consumption. Thanks again, Big Denny, and everyone have a Big Denny day. So I got these USB powered fans, and these are the type of fans that aren't necessarily made to go inside a custom PC. It's more of like a post product thing. So you put it under a laptop or a gaming console. And because these are more of a post product that don't go inside of a PC, they already have this protective mesh over it. My initial idea was to mount these fans to a frame and then cut out a rough hole with a jigsaw in the side of the wall and mount the frame directly on top of the PC cabinet. I had this quarter inch oak sheet and I used a power drill and a jigsaw to cut out this square shape to match the fans with a border for the screws to mount in. Um, but then I realized it looked pretty bad. But then I had a brain blast. The fan is a circle. So all I needed to do was get a three inch hole saw to match the three inch diameter of the fan. And you might be wondering why I used quarter inch MDF instead of just drilling the three inch holes directly into the side of the cabinet. Well, one, I would have had to get longer mounting screws. And two, I thought it would look way better if the fans were behind this tiny quarter inch of MDF as opposed to being hidden behind a full three quarter inch wall of the MDF cabinet. So as I said, my plan was to create a rough hole and glue the frame on top. But then I realized I could use my router to create a quarter inch recess so the frame blends completely into the side of the wall. And even though this was a really good fit, I still wanted to make sure that no seams were visible at all. So I filled in the seam with wood filler and sanded it down. And I wanted to test how this was actually affecting my PC. So one Saturday, I booted up my PC around 10 a.m. And then around 4 p.m., I measured the temperature inside the cabinet and the ambient temperature. The temperature of my room was 73.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And after this PC was running for six hours with the fans on high speed, the temperature inside the cabinet was 74.5 degrees. That is pretty good if you ask me, and I was shocked at how much noticeably cooler the PC was. And then I was like, okay, so what was I working with before? So I let my PC run for an hour, no fans on at all, and I measured the temperature inside the cabinet, and it was 91.8 degrees Fahrenheit. I know that's really bad. So let's just all be grateful that I have a fan now. Um, but that is all. I will see you guys next time in the Applebee's parking lot. In the Applebee's parking lot.